Hello everyone, this is Pierre, your Camdraw wizard. It's been a while. In this short video, we are going to see how to draw complex large molecules uh, like the one on the screen under one minute with hotkeys and then we'll go over how to uh, actually do this step by step. First, what's this molecule? This molecule is a targeted protein degrader, something de developed by Novartis earlier this year. Coming from this website, why did I pick it up? Because it's big, because it's complicated to draw if you're not using hotkeys. And by the way, this is coming from drughunter.com. Drughunter is a super cool website if you want to stay up to date with everything going on in drug discovery. So also worth checking out. Before we start, what you're going to see on the this part of the screen is what I am typing on my keyboard. It's a little widget, so you're going to be able to see what I am doing. Okay, let's do the finished product first. I'm going to start here. It doesn't matter where I start. The principle is that I am going to be able to simply can't do two things at the same time, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to be able to draw complex molecules like this one, right? Uh, nope, delete, and not doing too bad this time. So I'm just moving around the, the molecule with the keys on my keyboard. And then we should be almost done. And then I'll explain in a little bit more detail there you go so that should be about one minute that looked a little bit complicated but we're going to see again from the start how to get to that all right so first a little word of uh, how things work before we start the hotkeys that i'm going to use so i'm on version 22 of chemdraw when you start the when you start chemdraw for the first time you're going to be presented with a cheat sheet like this one. It tells you if you mouse over or if you have the hotspot over an atom and then you press this key on your keyboard, you will get the corresponding functional group or group or atom label that's shown in red and then the same for bond. If I press X while I'm not mousing over the canvas, I'm going to select the CC bond tool. The CC bond tool, if you mouse over, will tell you X or you press one or zero over the atom and that's how the hotspot works. So you insert a, a bond and then the hotspot is this little thing square on the bond or the little circle on the atom with the green dot. The green dot tells you where the bond is inserted when you press one. So if you press one, it goes towards the green dot. If you press zero, it goes away from the green dot. In other words, one extends the chain whereas zero closes. That's the basics for one and zero and extending carbon chains. One reflex that you're going to have to fight at the beginning, if you're not familiar with that, is to stay over the, hot, the molecule with the mouse cursor. Because if you do, and then you keep on pressing one, you're going to end up with something like this, which looks nice, but not very chemically accurate. And the bottom line is that the mouse cursor takes precedence over the hotspot. So you want to insert a bond, maybe touch it simply. You take a selection tool and then you touch the molecule and that's it. You move away. That's all you need to do. Okay. So from there, we're going to do one. We're going to extend the chain that I'm on the right hand side of the molecule. Press one. I press N to insert a nitrogen. I press one. I press two. Two is the hotkey for a carbonyl plus a methyl group. So I'm going to press one, 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 two, N, six, six over an atom in introduces a cyclohexyl, so then I press N, then I press 1, and then to insert a benzene ring, a phenyl ring, it's either A or 3, so I can press A or 3, that's redundant. A on atom is at a benzene ring, A on a bond is going to fuse a benzene ring to that bond, okay? Then we go here, press 1, and then I want to go down, so the hotspot the green dot goes towards the right. I press zero to go down. I press three, for example, to add the phenyl. One and then L is going to give me a chloride. I do shift up. So shift up 
it allows you to move the hotspot a little bit further away. It's also going to be able to uh, wrap around a molecule and to jump across disconnected areas of a molecule. So here I press six. I was on the carbon bond. Press six. I press shift left. Going to go back here. I press N. I move with the arrows. I press N. I move. I press one. Green goes towards the left. So I'm going to press N and then zero, zero, one, N. And here I'm going to quickly go to the left side of the molecule, right? So I'm going to do shift right. I'm down here. Now I'm on the furthest uh, part to the right of the molecule. I do shift right. I'm ending up here on the left hand side of the molecule. Same thing if I'm on the left hand side, I do shift left. I'm going to end up on the right hand side of the molecule. So it's going to wrap around and it works uh, the same way with up and down if you have like vertical molecules. Okay. So shift right, I end up here. I'm going to insert a morpholine ring by pressing N, 6, and O. Then I move over here. I press 6, I press 1, I press N, I press 1, I press 2, then I press 1, then I press N, and then I press 7. 7 over an atom is the hotkey for a cyclopentyl. You press 2 over a bond to make it a double. 2 over a bond here. And here I can press directly 7 to add a cyclopentyl plus a CC bond because uh, you can't fuse a cyclopentyl on that carbon. So I'm here, I press 2, I press N, and then I'm over the bond, I press A to fuse a benzene ring. I move with the arrows on the keyboard, I press A, I move, I press 1, I press F to insert a fluorine, I do shift right to jump here, go down. I do 1, N, 1, 2, N, and U is the hotkey for a cyclobutyl. So I do this, and then I'm going to do V to insert a cyclopropyl. I could also do Control z and press 9. 9 is a gem dimethyl with a certain angle orientation. It's a little trick. I'm going to insert the V, and then I'm going to press O, and then just delete that. So I'm here, and then one, one, and then nine. There you go. So that's step by step in detail, and then control F. For now, let's make this look a little prettier, the different parts of the targeted protein degrader. So we're going to select this part of the molecule and then insert a light yellow and then highlight colors in a stronger yellow to make it look nice. Then we're going to do the same thing here. Ring fills. Ring fills are going to fill with color all the closed carbon cycles you have within your selection. And then you can use maybe this one or this green if you want. This one look better. And then I have the marquee tool. I hold Alt to switch to toggle to the lasso tool to have a more precise selection. And then I can do this and then this. Okay, that's before we leave, just a reminder on once you have a molecule like this, the reaction shortcut allows you to clone quickly on this other side of a molecule. So you select the molecule, you do control arrow right, down, and left. It's going to clone your object or your multiple objects, your molecules on the other side of a reaction arrow. And we will see more in detail about that in upcoming videos. That's about it for this video. Hope it has been helpful. Uh, we're going to start again a little series on uh, how to draw complex molecules or anything like 3D related. So hope you find this helpful. And if you have certain requests, uh, just put them in the comments of this video. There will also be a, a link to the trial version of ChemDraw and ChemOffice 22 if you want to give this a shot. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.